I am here with my friend Rosie in Taichung in a lovely park. How long have you been in Taiwan for? I've been in Taiwan for 18 years. 18 years? Yeah, 18 years. What brought you to Taiwan? Well, first I came as a missionary with okay. the Church of England uh, Missionary Society. And then I kind of gave all that up and then just stayed because I, I love Taiwan. What do you love about Taiwan or what are a few things? It's an endless list really, isn't it? Because you keep finding things that you love. I think the people are lovely and friendly. Do you have a favorite food or fruit or something you love to eat here? That's a really difficult question because Taiwanese food is really, really good. And I, I really, really like the, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but the Chinese medicine one that you get in the winter. It's kind of like is a Is it a hot, soup? Yeah, and it's got the goji berries in it. I've always been interested in like alternative medicines and stuff like that. And when my kids were small, Someone introduced me to a direct marketing company, whatever they're called, multi-level marketing company. And they were trying to push lots of stuff onto me and then I started researching it and actually all of the things they were telling me to do with these essential oils for myself and my children were completely unsafe and uh. completely wrong. And but I can understand where they were coming from, they were trying to build a business. Yeah. So I decided that, hang on a minute, something's not quite right here because they were telling me some really like unsafe things so I decided to go and educate myself and I enrolled on a course the, the aromatherapy certificate program with Aroma Head. So if you go to Rosie in the future and I'll put a link below you can see she's a certified aromatherapist and what is aromatherapy? They're using essential oils. And what do they do? Oh what can't they do? They're amazing. Uh, examples. They, they, they don't cure cancer or anything like that. So if you are from a multi-level marketing company, please stop making those claims because it's not true. But they can help basically to get our body back into balance, into homeostasis. So uh, can, can you give me an example? Let's say I suffer anxiety. So as an aromatherapist, yeah. what would you, what would be uh, the first thing that you would do? Well, if you came to see me, the first thing that I would do is I would do an intake form with you. So I would, I would like to ask you about your medical history, if you're taking any medicines, because right. there are essential oils that interact with medicines. Uh, the way that I've learned is that children from five to 10, you oh. can start at five, but you have to start with like really, really low amounts of essential oils. So you, you have children, yes? Yep, I've got um, children. So what, your youngest child is how old? He's nearly six. Six. So, do you use the essential? Do you use the oils on him? Sometimes, not all the time. With essential oils, if you need to use it, if you don't need to use it, don't use it. Oh. You don't need to use it every day, you know. So, really, use it for therapy, like yeah, it's. Yeah, yeah. Like some people will, will diffuse in essential oils all the time, like 24 hours. You don't need to do that. You're going to overload your your system. And with with diffusing, 15 minutes on, turn oh. it off for 15 minutes. Okay. If you've got pets, like I think you've got cats. Two cats, yeah. Make sure that you're doing it in a well ventilated space. Oh, okay. Keep I don't want to hurt my cats. Open. Yeah, keep the door open because their sense of smell is way more sensitive than ours. Oh, so. And also with dogs, if you're diffusing, well ventilated area, keep the door open so they can get in and out. So, what do you think is the main disposition that we suffer as human beings? Uh, you were just saying. I think um, sometimes people might be unwilling to look inside themselves. Because it's difficult. Why do you think it's difficult? It hurts, doesn't it? And when you want to change, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's difficult, you know, and you're used to being who you are, so, but some essentials can help you with that. Yeah, because, it, because they help to unblock your energy. Some things help to unblock negative energy, try to influence change. But when you say negative energy, are you referring to kind of like the the chakras or the energy centers of the body, like that that aspect of yeah, energy? Yeah. Do you meditate? I try. I'm not very good at it because you know, like you get the itchy thing. Yeah. I get that my mind's not going to stay on meditating. It's going to start doing other things. So I do find it difficult. Essential oils. You can actually use them to do meditating. Well, then I definitely want yeah. to understand that. But if you're going to use essential oils, I would first consult an aromatherapist to see if you're doing it in the right, right way and the safe way for you, because everyone's different. You, you've helped friends and family yeah. with aromatherapy, yeah. but you would like to open up an actual an actual practice where you can yeah. help yeah. Taiwanese local Taiwanese yeah. people and foreigners that yeah. want to come to you that want to find an alternative way to heal or yeah. to help themselves. Yeah. We're opening. 
That's so, excellent. Yeah. What's your husband's part in the wellness center? Well, he's a personal trainer. I, I think what would be ideal, maybe you, this is your plan, is to teach it within the wellness center until you can get the insurance that you need to actually practice it officially. Yeah, and if anyone wants to like a workshop, I can tailor make them as well. What is this that you've just handed me as a gift and thank you very much? That is Palmarosa. Um, and it's, um, it's been diluted in hot hop oil, so it's already diluted. You don't have to worry about doing anything Amazing. like that. Palmarosa is really, really good to help clear your mind. Find natural, non-medical ways to feel calmer. Yeah, yeah that's... Amazing, that's awesome. Because I, I've only just started using the oils for meditation too, and it does, for me, it does help, you know? Mm -hmm. And even just to make me feel a little bit calmer, and it's a meditation oil. All right, so I'm half naked right now. Sorry, Rosie. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put on, what is this, you said? Um, it's sweet marjoram, lavender, frankincense. I'm having a sore shoulder, shoulder blade. You rub it on. Yep. I'm gonna give this a try and then I'll be back right now. So what are you making here? I'm making you an inhaler with um, some essential oils that help facilitate change and reduce fear. Ooh, okay, well fear is, is definitely an issue going on in today's society. Very exciting. If you're not using it, put it in the fridge. Well, I was not expecting to get two very cool gifts today. Thank you. You're welcome. So what is the, yeah. what's the best place to reach you? Would it be on, uh, on Facebook? I do have a Facebook page for Ritune Aromatherapy. And I'm always, always happy if you send me a message, even if it's just, a, if you think it's a silly question, I'm always happy to answer it, you know? Well, Rosie, I just want to say thank you for letting me have a chat with you about aromatherapy. And I hope to see you in a proper space where you could actually do this. I hope so. Thank you for having me. It's been lovely.